Very good evening to everybody. Now we are going to discuss the fifth sum in exercise 4.2. Tons standard CDC mathematics, exercise 4.2, fifth sum. Using determinants, find the area of a triangle whose vertices are 1 comma 4, 2 comma 3 and minus 5 comma minus 3. Are the given points collinear? So, what is the formula? What they have given? They have given totally here two points, here two points and here two points. Area of a triangle. Triangle means what? Totally three points are there. 1 comma 4, 2 comma 3, minus 5 comma minus 3. So now the area of a triangle with vertices with vertices first point what is the point one x one what is the formula we need to use x one comma y one x two comma y two and x3 comma y3 respectively. So, area of a triangle equal to what is the formula 1 by 2 x1 y1 1 x2 x3 y2 y3. So, what the third column is 1 1 1. So, this is what the formula which we are going to use. So, whenever the question, the question, the points if they given means first point you need to consider it as x, second point you need to consider it as y. So, here this one, what? x1 value is what? x1 is 1, y1 is 4, x2 is how so much? 2, y2 is 3. X3 is minus 5. Y3 is minus 3. So now, 1 by 2. X1 is what? 1. Y1 is 4. 1. X2 is what? 2. Y2 is 3. X3 is minus 5. Y3 is minus 3. And remaining is 1. So, in this, how we are going to calculate? We are going to calculate the determinant value. 1 by 2. Here 1. We need to enclose this value and this row and this column. Remaining is which one is there? 3 into 1? 3. 1 into 3 into 1? 3. Minus. Minus 3 into 1? Minus 3. So, minus 3 into minus plus 3. Next one, 4. As per the determinant rule, first one is plus, second one is negative, third one is plus. So, next one, minus 4. We need to eliminate this column and this row. 4, below which, which one is there? 3, minus 3. So, that one we need to exclude it. And this one we need to exclude. So, remaining which one is there? 2, 1, Minus 5, 1. 2 into 1, 2. Next, minus. Minus 5 into 1, minus 5. Minus 5 into minus, plus 5. Next one is, plus 1. We need to exclude this column and this row. So, remaining is which one? 2 into minus 3, minus 6. Next, minus. Minus 5 into 3, minus 15. Minus 15 into minus, plus 15. Now, 1 by 2 into 1 into 6 minus 4 into 7 plus 1 into 15 minus 6 is how much? 15 minus 6 is 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. 15 minus 6 is 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So, 9. Now, 1 by 2 into 1 into 6, 6. 4 into 
to 7? 28. This one we can solve by the upstairs itself. 1 by 2 into 1 into 6 is 6. 4 into 7? 28. Plus 1 into 9? 9. Now, 6 plus 9. Plus 2 and this first we can consider. 6 plus 9 is how much? 15. Minus 28. 15 minus 28 is how much? Minus 13. Minus 13 by 2. So, are the given points put in here? Yes. In this, what they are asking means whether the given points are collinear or not. Whether it is a collinear? No. It is not a collinear. So, the, the why means? Because the value is coming in a minus method. Minus 13 by 2. So, the given points are not collinear. This is what the problem which we need to solve like this type of things. Find the area of a triangle and with the triangle what is the value and by the point we need to find it out whether the given points are collinear or not. The next one is 6 to 7. If the points A1, comma B1, comma A2, comma B2 and A1 plus B1 a2 plus B2 are collinear. Show that proof is A1 B2 equal to A2 B1. So now, how we need to write the points? The collinear means that is triangle shape. We need to write the points first. First, x1 equal to A1. Y1 is what is the value for Y1? B1. X2 is how which value? A2. Y2 is B2. X3 is what is the value? A1 plus B1. Y3 is A2 plus B2. So these are the points of collinear. So what is the question they are asking? They are asking us we need to prove A1 B2 equal to A2 B1. So now what we need to write is if the given points are collinear then what is the value x1, y1, 1 x2, y2, 1 x3, y3, 1 so now, next thing, how we are going to write it? x1, what is the value? x1 is what? a1 y1 is what? b1 x2 is a2 y2 is b2 x3 is what? a1 plus b1 y3 is a2 plus b1 B2. So now the values are different method. So we need to do some identical steps. So for doing the identical steps, what we can do? Because if we need to eliminate the values in the easiest form, we need to eliminate the values. So for that, what is the idea we can do? For example, here row 2 and row 3. By the row 2 and row 3, how we can do it? See here. Row 2. Row 2. Row 2 is row 2 minus row 1. Row 3 is row 3 minus row 1. Row 3 minus row 1. That is, how we can easily able to identify this? Row 2, A2 minus A1. For the row 3, A1 plus B1 minus R1 is A1. So, plus A1 and minus A1, it will be cancelled. So, for that, how we can write these values? A1. 
row 1 as usual whatever it's that you please write it a1 b1 1 this one row 2 what we need to write row 2 minus row 1 a2 minus a1 b2 minus b1 1 minus 1 is how much 0 row 3 how we need to write row 3 a1 plus b1 minus row 1 is minus a1 so you press a1 and minus a1 cancel so b1 here what we need to write row 3 minus row 2 so row 1 a2 plus b2 minus how much it will come a2 minus a1 b2 minus b1 so now next value how we are going to write it a2 b2 0 the next one third row how we are going to write third row is a1 plus b1 minus a1 so b1 is the value next one what is the thing b1 plus b2 here i have made a mistake b1 plus b2 so now what we are going to write here once again the question is wrong once again i will clarify it b1 plus b2 the next one is a1 plus a2 a2 this is b1 plus b2 so a1 plus a2 minus a1 is a2 sorry sorry students a1 plus a2 now a1 plus a2 minus b1 plus b2 minus b1 is how much b2 now 1 minus 1 is 0 so this is what the step which we are going to identify it and now by expanding that is along with expanding along with column 3 by expanding column 3 so column 3 is column 3 so by expanding column 3 what are all the rows which we need to write it a1 b1 and a1 a1 a2 minus a1 b2 minus b1 a2 b2 so now when we are expanding the column 3 below values we need to close it and this one below we need to yeah, eliminate it so remaining thing is what are the remaining things a2 minus a1 b2 minus b1 a2 b2 so these are the values and now what we are going to do next one is row 1 minus row 2 if you do row 1 minus row 2 what are the values it will be coming by using row 1 row 1 minus row 2 a2 minus a1 minus row 2 is minus a2 plus a2 minus a2 cancel b2 minus b1 minus b2 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 cancel here b2 now here a1 minus a1 minus b1 a2 b2 this minus if we take it as common so or else we know it to take as common minus a1 into b2 then this one is minus a2 b1 equal to 0 so now a2 b1 minus already we have mentioned plus a2 into minus b1 is minus minus to minus plus so now what we are going to do is we need to minus a1 
b2 equal to plus will become as minus a2 b1 minus minus cancel so now it's been a1 b2 equal to a2 b1 hence proved sorry little bit of mistake i did a1 plus a2 question is a1 plus a2 comma b1 plus b2 so likewise a1 plus a2 b1 plus b2 by this only we are doing the calculations thank you please kindly to make a note of it once after taking a note of it then after that we can move to next sum seventh sum next problem seventh sum find the value of k comma if the points k plus 1 comma 1 2k plus 1 comma 3 2k plus 2 minus 2k plus 2 comma 2k are collinear so now how we are going to use since the given points are collinear since the given points are collinear so now x1 is what k plus 1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 x1 y1 y1 is 1 x2 is what 2k plus 1 y2 is 3 x3 is what 2k plus 2 y3 is Okay. So now, as per the collinear, what we need to do? We need to do the following formulas. As per the formula, x one y one is at one. X two y two is at two. X one is what? K plus one. Y one is what one. X one Y one is at one. X two. Sorry, one second. The formula is X one Y one one. X two Y two one. X three Y three one. So as per this formula, we need to write X one. Y one one, X two Y two one, X three Y three one equal to zero. So now X one is what? K plus one. Y one is one. X two is what? Two K plus one. X three is two K plus two. Three. Two K. Same as it is. Y two we need to write it in the Y two value and. Y three we need to write it as two k, two k, two k comma one. So now we need to apply some conditions. So for applying conditions, we need to use it as by applying R two gives R two minus R one, R three gives. R three minus R one. So now, what we need to write? K plus one, one one. R two. We need to write mention the condition. R two minus R one. Two K plus one minus K into two K plus one minus of K plus one. Two K plus one minus into K minus K minus into one minus one. So now, what is the value it will be coming? The value will be coming as k. Next one, three minus one, how much? Two. One minus one, zero. Next condition, this is row three, so we need to mention the row three condition. Row three minus row one, two k plus two minus k minus into plus one minus one. So how much it will come? K plus one. 
2 k plus 2 minus k minus 1. Now, 2 k minus 1. 2 k minus 1. 1 minus 1? 0. So, now, by expanding, column 3. So, when I expand expanding column 3, 1, this is the column 3. So, 1, 0, 0, we need to eliminate it. Before that, this row also we need to eliminate it. So, remaining thing is, which one is there? k, 2. k plus 1. 2k minus 1 equal to 0. So, now, next thing is, how we are going to do is it? k into 2k minus 1 minus 2 into k plus 1 equal to 0. k into 2k? 2k square. k into 1? Minus 2 into k? Minus 2k. Minus 2 into plus 1? Minus 2 equal to 0. Now, from here, how we are going to do 2k square? Minus. Minus k minus 2k. How much it will come? Minus k minus 2k. How much it will come? 3k minus 2 equal to 0. So now what we need to do is while we are doing product minus 2 into 2 4 minus 4 minus 3. So how we need to do the calculation? We need to expand the product minus 3 minus 3 into minus 1. So, how we can eliminate 2k square minus k minus 2k minus 2 equal to 0. So, now how we can do it? k, k. So, k we can take it as common. k into k into 2k 2k into k 2k square minus k into 1 k minus 2k minus 1 how much once again 2k square minus k if you are doing like this whether it will be working on whether it will be ok no it won't be working because the proper factorization is not coming. So, what we can do other method? k minus plus 4k. Two k square minus k. Sorry, plus k minus 4k minus 2 equal to 0. Likewise, this type of fraction, if we do, how, whether it will be properly solved or not. Like that we can see. So, 2k square minus 4k plus k minus 2 equal to 0. 2k into how much? 2k into k. 2k square minus 2k into 2 minus 4k. 2k plus 1 k minus 2 equal to 0. 2k plus 1 equal to 0. k minus 2 equal to 0. k equal to plus 2. 2k equal to plus 1 if it comes as right side means minus 1. So, k equal to minus 1 by 2. So, this is the method. So, what is the to find the value of k? So, we have found out the value of k. The next thing is, find the equation of the line joining 1, 2, 3, 6 using determinants. The equation of the line point is x, y, 1, x1, one, x2, y1, one, y2. So, now x, y. x1 is what? x1, y1. y1 is 2. 
x2 y2 3 6 1 equal to 0 now how we are going to solve it this one how we are going to solve this x we are keeping the values x we need to eliminate this entire column and this entire row so remaining values is 2 1 6 1 2 into 1 2 minus 6 into 1 6 the next one as per the determinant rule this one we have considered as plus and this one is minus y into we need to eliminate this column and this row 1 into 1 1 minus 3 plus 1 into we need to do it how much it will come 6 into 1 6 minus 3 into 2 6 0 so x into minus 4 minus y into minus 2 equal to 0 minus 4x minus y into minus plus 2y equal to 0 minus 4x plus 2y is if it comes the same means minus 2y 1 2 is to 2 y equal to 2x okay y equal to 2x this is what about the equation of the line that's all please kindly the next next class we can move to <coughs> short answer type questions